Gardens and patios can often look a bit lacklustre and lack colour right the way through from the end of autumn through winter and on even into early spring. So what I like to do is plant up my containers that I've used for summer flowering plants and fill them with lots of plants that look good at this time of year. And then eventually lots of those plants can end up making their way on into the garden. So any investment you make in the plants for these pots will be paid back many times over when the plants are performing in the garden for years to come. Things like this lovely cordyline, for example. This is a really, really pretty plant and it looks good in this container and it's got a big sense of scale. But actually out in the garden, until it's really established and got a bit bigger, it would probably look a bit lost. So just one or two seasons in this container means that this plant will grow larger and then I can move it on into the open garden in the fullness of time. So this is going to make a really good statement plant at the back of my container. So here I've got a beautiful terracotta glazed container. It's got a bit of a crackle glaze on it and it's really colourful. It's also quite tall which means that there's plenty of drainage through this pot. The plants won't sit and become waterlogged over winter. And then the compost that I've got in here is really what was left over from the summer. It was fresh for the summer plants and I haven't tipped it out and renewed it. I'm just going to use it through the winter just for something to support these plants. They don't need much in the way of nutrition from it so it will do for them. And I might have a little bit too much in here actually so I'm going to take some out, put it in my bucket, take out the excess compost to make enough room for this root ball to go in and then I can always fill in with some of this compost around the roots after I've finished planting. So take out a nice big hole and I'm going to position this plant towards the back of the container as I say. And I've also chosen this really lovely skimmia with these beautiful red buds. This is skimmia rubella to go with the cordyline leaves here. Colours really go well together. Knock these carefully out of their pots. You can see how much of a strong root system this ha has. Don't tease it out, it doesn't really need it. Take out the label and then I'm just going to position this to one side of the corder line so that we pick up on the colour. We can move it around until we're satisfied with the position and then just fill in around with the compost around the root ball of that. So we've got our two feature plants into this container already. Uh, and then I've also got some winter flowering heathers here, which again pick up on these pinky and red tones. These are Erica carnia, the winter flowering heathers. And these again can be transplanted out into the open garden once they've done their turn in this container. Pop these in towards one side of the pot, a couple together. You can plant them quite closely because they won't be doing anything much in the way of growing at this time of year through the winter months. You're really window dressing and make an instant effect with this container. So we've got a couple of those in there and then perhaps one more in the middle underneath the corder line. So you can see that I'm grouping the plants together to make a massed effect. And here's where you might need a little bit of compost underneath that root ball and firm it in position. And then that leaves us with a nice open area at the front and I thought that these polyanthus would look really good there. You can buy primroses or polyanthus in these really bright colours. And rather than go for another pink, I thought it would probably be best to go for something that tones with that. So this blue polyanthus Sit those in the front of the pot, again in a cluster, because again these won't grow very much during the winter months. Just so that the leaves are going over the edge of the pot, just to mask it a little bit. So there's two, and again don't be scared to fill in with a little bit more compost underneath. And I bought three of these, but I actually think two is probably enough. If you buy more than you need, you can always find another pot to put them in. I don't really want to over cram these polyanthus because their leaves do get damaged quite easily. So there we are, we've got that. And round at the back of the pot, 
I've got a bit of a bare space behind this cord line so I've got some evergreen fern it doesn't matter which variety I'm just going to break that root to ball down a little bit and again this is a hardy plant that can go out in the garden afterwards and give you many years of pleasure so just use small ferns just to fill in around the back of the pot you might need to dig out a little bit in the back here dig out some of the compost pop that fern in the back just to fill in at the base of the cord line so that you can't see and there's my finished pot just need to go round and fill in with a bit of extra compost give it a good slosh of water and then put it in position and sit back and enjoy it all through the winter